What is going on guys? My name is Jesse E.B. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern, I'll be releasing content in regards to e-commerce, Shopify dropshipping, and everything online entrepreneurship. I release all this content for free and I'm not charging you a thing. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a incredibly untapped marketing method that nobody is utilizing. Some of the techniques I go over are a little bit black hat. So this is for educational purposes only, to shine light on some of the methods that are being utilized around the internet so you can model them and use them in an ethical fashion. Let's cut the shit. This method is not gonna kill Instagram influencers, but it is gonna be an additional powerful tool in your arsenal in case other marketing methods get taken away. Because at any time, Instagram can change their policy, Facebook can change their policy, and then our marketing methods get ripped away from under us. No, this is not my Chimo van. That was just parked there. I'm not going around handing candy out to kids. For those that have not started a Shopify store and are kind of on the fence trying to decide if you want to, in the description, I have a link with an extended free trial. It's good for 30 days instead of 14. No risk. Go ahead and give it a try. The link is in the description. So enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into the valuable content. Let's go. <clears throat> all right, all right. So we're going to go over two methods for Twitter influencer marketing. This is just going to be a quick video, but I want you guys to be able to have as many tools in the arsenal as possible. All right, the first method we're going to go into might seem kind of obvious, but what these people are doing is they're building a Twitter page that is dedicated to their business brand. What they're doing is they're buying followers and buying engagement on their posts for social proof oh, and no. they're posting related content. So for example, if you're in the basketball niche, you might post about basketball games, stats, photos, and just overall interesting content that is related to basketball to give people a reason to follow you. Something to keep in mind is the promotions that you post on Twitter can have up to four images. What? Additionally, the promos that you post can have clickable links, unlike Instagram, which is very powerful because it removes friction in order to get people to your sales page. The less friction, the better. No need to click the link in the bio. You could click directly off the post and go straight to the sales page. These pages I'm coming across are using kind of black hat techniques in terms of how they are buying followers and buying engagement on their posts. And I'll go over why they, they are even bothering with the unethical practices. But for you guys, best practices would be to build an organic strong brand over time. This is not a get rich quick scheme and you're not gonna be able to accomplish this overnight if you want sustained success in this industry. You can't be lazy and if you expect something to bring you millions overnight, you should probably enter a different industry. This is a long game technique. If you want the good life, you need to be willing to work for it. But once you have a strong brand, then you could have an influencer retweet your business page promotion. Now let me show you real quick. So why are these people even bothering buying followers and engagement? And it's because the method that they're using. You would have a business page, this beautiful drawing here, and you'd be posting relatable content and giving people a reason to follow you. And then you would post a promotion, say 50% off. Now this business page, they aren't utilizing this whole business page necessarily for driving traffic to their store, but they're utilizing this business page as a method to be able to show social proof when they have the influencer eventually retweet their promotion. Ooh. So after posting a bunch of re relatable content and coming off as a regular page, they would post the promotion and then pay the influencer to retweet that promotion. That way, now the influencers following may go click and look at the business page and see, oh, it has social proof. There's wow. people that are actually engaging and this is a real company. That's why they're buying the engagement and that's why they're buying the followers. Now, if you wanna take this method and have a influencer retweet your promotion, you could take it up one step further and you could have this business page be retweeted by an attractive person that is a regular person's page, like we discussed in the last video. What? And then from there, this influencer can retweet the attractive person's retweet of this business promotion. It gives it a little extra layer of social proof. And if you watch the last video, you understand why having an attractive person is important on the Twitter page. So this method has completely blown my mind. This is a thread method. What people are doing on Twitter is they will post a tweet and then they will post kind of 
additional tweets underneath it and create a thread and they're telling a story and people engage on them and they're and they love it so the way these people are doing this they're building a twitter profile the same way as we discussed in the last video go ahead and check the top right corner right now if you want to check out that video they're posting relatable content to build social proof and a following and then eventually they drop this thread that has a natural organic looking plug of the product they're trying to sell now let me show you an example I was shown this page, this girl named Lexi. As you can see here, she has a pinned tweet called Skincare A Thread. This is a fake profile, I know for a fact, because I put on my Jesse E.B. detective hat again and I did a reverse image search of her profile picture. I scroll down and the first result here is of some girl named Allie Hills. It looks like the same girl, but I want to verify that this girl is indeed Allie Hills. So I looked her up on Twitter. Sure enough, the girl is the same as a fake profile, tongue hanging out and everything. So we know for a fact that this Lexi is a fake profile and this is simply just a marketing technique. Now let me show you what she does here. She has a thread called Skincare A Thread. She goes through and tells a relatable story for people that have also struggled with their skin health. She goes through and she utilizes the jab, 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 right hook technique and gives tons of value for people before starting to ease in a promotion. She drops a promotion of the company that is selling the product. She continues on and she gives instructions, more jab, jab, jabs, more value for free, drops another promotion of the company until finally the right hook where she's asking people to buy something. Now it's coming off organic. She's not directly asking people to buy something. She's coming off as a regular page, but this is the right hook where she gives people an opportunity to buy. And she plays it off as if somebody was DMing her. A bunch of people were DMing her, asking her to where she bought the product. To the untrained eye, this would come off incredibly organic and a lot of people would not know the difference. Now look at the engagement on this post just for the thread portion of the sales page itself. It got almost a thousand likes, which is probably the equivalent of tens of thousand impressions. Look at all the retweets and likes this thread got. That is insane. Imagine how many impressions this thread got and how much money this company made by using this method. Now, she stole this picture. It's a black hack technique and I don't suggest anybody take any pictures from anyone without permission. However, it is, it is important that if you make a profile that you use an attractive relatable person in the profile you need to be following the rules of the platform that you're using for marketing no. this is simply just to shine light on the, the, the methods that are being used so that you can model them and use them in an ethical way super powerful information you guys and if you're willing to put in the work you could eventually really start earning some sustainable income and finally live the good life. Just a quick video today, guys. I wanna give you as many marketing methods as possible for your arsenal. I'm not selling you guys anything. If you appreciate that, consider subscribing. I don't need your money, but I do need your support. Drop a like on the video and drop a comment below so my content can be shown to as many people on YouTube as possible and save as many people from being scammed as possible. I will do my part providing you guys as much free content as possible if you do your part and engage on my content and share it with people that need it. All right, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out.